Hey guys, what's happening? It's your boy Deven. Gonna be keeping you company for a little bit. This is Speak Up or Shut Up. It's a video edition. It's Sunday, beautiful Sunday, and we're about to do a video shoot for my girl Duella. Um, she got a brand new song coming out, but it's going to be dropping on December 25. So definitely you have to look out for that. You know, speaking about music, music is something amazing. It's an art in itself. There's, there are various genres of music when you think about it. You have rock, you have pop, you have dance, soca, calypso. We could go on and on. And then there's a, a fusion of, of various genres, what we call crossover. But today on Speak Up and Shut Up, I'm going to be talking specifically about Guyanese music and how we are evolving and how we're growing when it comes to the music industry. Now, this is no news to us when it comes to the Guyanese music industry. The music has always been a part of our culture and it has also been used as a form of expression. We have had several artists making it really big in the world. Like take for instance, Eddie Grant, Eddie Grant who made it to top, top 10 and number one in the world with his songs like um, Joanna and Electric Avenue and stuff like that. In fact, they even they decided recently, we would have heard that um, they recently wanted to, to name an avenue after him, Electric Avenue. So we're looking forward to that. But coming back into context with things when it comes to Guyanese music, yes, we are growing, we're moving forward. Um, in fact, over the years, if you compare 10 years ago to now, music in itself has evolved tremendously. No longer are we in the Tin and Cup stage, but now we have a um, world-class sound. The, the sound is very crisp, the quality is very good. And this is because we have realized that we're lagging behind when it comes to our production of music. Um, I remember years ago, it has been told that Calypso actually started in Guyana, but we did not hold on to it. And then eventually Trinidad and Tobago grabbed hold of it and rebranded it as theirs, Calypso. So as, as it is right now, Calypso in itself is not even our own to keep, but we're sharing it with the rest of the world. But I personally believe that if you find a genre of music, maybe we just have to get creative, bring the producers together, and come up with a new genre of music to say like, look, this is Guyanese music. This is what Guyanese music should sound like. Similarly to what the Nigerians are doing and the Jamaicans are doing, you could never, you could never take it away from the Jamaicans, ever. If you hear a Jamaican song, if you hear dancehall, we know some Jamaican. If we hear soca, definitely Barbados are treating that. When you hear Guyana, it's like, I guess you're hearing cricket in the background, right? <laughs> but there's so much that we have to do. The problem with Guyanese music is that we don't have anything to identify ourselves by because we're tr busy trying to sound like everybody else. Um, if the Americans are singing hip hop, we want to sing hip hop. We want to sing dancehall from Jamaica. We want to sing soca from Trinidad, but yet alone we're not even sounding ourselves. But what is ourselves? What are ourselves? We don't even know. We don't even know that that much. But I must say the producers in Guyana are working very hard. So big up to Daryl Pugsley. We have um, Ken from Brutal Tracks. You have so many others in Linen here. You got Jay Lyrics, Code Red Records. Big up yourself, Spider in Time Studio. You got Elevate, Elevate Studio, those guys are working very, very hard too. Um, we bring it back home to Linden. I believe over the last couple of years, we would have seen tremendous boost when it comes to music. Um, and we would have even had products coming out of the music industry, such as My Cup. So big up to Kira Gray for putting that together, where artists have an opportunity to go and perform in front of a live audience every Thursday in front of Ice Rock. And this is good, this is what we need. But in order for us to grow, first of all, we need our own sound. If we don't have our own sound, then that means we're identified as everybody else. And it seems too, it has to do a lot with the support that we get in the Guyanese music industry. If you want to make it big as an artist, it seems as if you have to go overseas, then come back. That's how you make a name for yourself. Take for instance, Tamika Marshall. If Tamika was still in Guyana, I don't think she would have made it big. She had to go out and then come back, and then everybody recognized, yes. Lisa Punch has been here forever, and singing from various, um, you know, various platforms, various stages. She had to go overseas and be a part of that, um, that competition. Made a name for herself, came back, and everybody, oh, Lisa, Lisa, everything is Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Um, it's really sad. Jomo Primo and Adrian Dutchin, 
but they had to travel the world and make a name for themselves and come back. That's how it seems, but it shouldn't be. We should be proud of what we have, the products that we have, and try to mold it and build it and take it from one level to the next. Where are we going in the Magallan music industry? I know we're fighting right now for the copyright law, but having copyright law is something good, yes. The first world countries have it, but in Guyana, should that be put in place, we gotta take a lot of things into consideration. Those hustlers in the street who are selling uh, bootleg DVDs, selling um, music, definitely all that is gonna be cut out, right? But copyright has to do with your subconscious. It's not as if um, in the first world countries they kind of go and buy a bootleg, but they know in their mind that every time they spend that $5 or $10, they're contributing to the development of an artist, hence the development of their community, their country, and so on. So even though we're focusing on having copyright laws in place, we have to think consciously. We have to support Guyanese music. And that is the only way this industry will move forward. Anyway, that's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Ensure you log on to Facebook, run a search for Speaking for a Shut Up, or you can add me on WhatsApp, 5926 I'm out of here. Bye-bye.